One of my favorite video games is Days Gone. I have played it through twice already. So when the question occurred what I should do with my used saw blade, I immediately remembered one of the coolest melee weapons in the game. Hello everybody, this is Volkans and I will tell you how I built my own baseball bat axe. But first of all, this is some serious stuff that I use here. If you plan to build your own version, be extremely careful. Wear thick clothes, eye protection and gloves. And I do not mean thin rubber ones that you use for washing the dishes, but strong and sturdy leather. A saw bit can cut you, but it's nothing compared to razor wire. That material is a bitch. It can damage the environment or hurt you in ways you would have never thought. Make sure to fix it while you work on it. With that said, it's time to get going. Let's build! The list of the main components is quite short. Of course you need a baseball bat, a saw blade that you no longer use, and about 2 2.5 meters of razor wire. I got this leftover all from a friend, as there is no point in buying a 50 meter package for this project only. First, we need two holes on the blade, where the screws will go through. I started with marking the positions. To make it easier, I decided to drill a small hole first, and extend it to the proper diameter later. What came next was a tough experience. That low budget saw blade is much harder than you would expect. It destroyed four of my drill bits. I have to admit, these were also low budget ones. So I had to visit the nearby DIY store. But before that, I decided to send off the logos and prints from the blade. Ok, so here are my fancy new drill bits. I tried both and found the cobalt tip drills could do the job nicely. Still took some time to finish. I decided to use M8 screws. Anything smaller would not look serious enough here. Next, it was time to drill holes into the baseball bat. As it is impossible to drill perfectly parallel holes with my tools, I use a 9mm drill bit so that minimal inaccuracies do not cause any problem. My desktop drill could not go deep enough, so I had to finish the holes manually. In order to cut the slit for the bed perpendicular to the holes, I aligned the baseball bat so that the holes are horizontal. Then I fired up my jigsaw. So far it looks promising. Before inserting the blade, I wanted to rough up the surface of the baseball bat. I used my bat sander for this. It is ok if the sanding is not entirely even. It will add to realism and the bat will look more battle worn. The razor wire will be fixed with nails. Since the bat is made of hardwood, I decided to drill holes for the nails. I bought 2.5mm thick nails, so a 1.5mm hole will be just fine. It will be easier to hammer the nails in and they will hold but still not try to split the bat. The blade of my jigsaw is narrower than the saw blade. I had hoped the blade would still fit into the slit, but it didn't. I had to widen up the slit using my jigsaw again. To make assembly easier, at this point I decided to hammer the nails in. They should not be bent, at least for now. Once the nails are in on one side, the bat will not stand steady while you try to nail the other side. So I used my vise. I opened it up so that the bed fitted in and the blade was lying on the vice grips. Once this was done, I quickly applied a layer of transparent acrylic varnish to the bed, just to make sure that later, during weathering, it will not drain the paints. And now we are ready to install the razor wire. To tell the truth, if I was to build the axe once more, it would be at this point that I do the weathering, then install the razor wire and do its weathering separately. But that's not what I did. The wire that I got had a grey coating, which I found too dull looking, so I decided to clean it first using a wire brush. This takes some time, but not forever, and the wire looks much more fattening afterwards. As I said in the beginning, one must be very careful when working with the razor wire, and this is especially true for this step. I started to install the wire at one of the screws, because it holds much stronger than a nail. Note that in the game the razor wire looks entirely straight like a guitar string. You cannot achieve this in real life, as you would need to pull the wire with an impossibly large force. So don't be disappointed if it's a bit curved. As for where to place the wire, you can take reference photos in the game. Now this looks really cool. Overnight I decided that the 60mm screws that I used are too short and the washers are too small. So I got on my bike to do some shopping again and replaced both. I wanted the axe to look like it had some leftover meat bits on it so I added some 5 minute epoxy at some places. 
I was not satisfied with the result though, so I continued with hot glue. To be honest, I got the idea from the amazing Days Gone Cosplay video by Mo Cosplay. You should check it out, it's really jaw dropping. And finally, painting and weathering. I started with some rust texture, then added color to the meat bits, then decided to add the matte grey coating to the blade, the screws and the washers to make them look more worn. Now, as said before, this would have been much easier before installing the razor wire. I painted for an hour or so, using my favorite acrylic paints. Yeah, and don't forget to add the dirty look to the bat as well. Use a brush and a cloth simultaneously to add or remove paint. The weathering is not perfect, but I think it looks just cool enough. If you are holding the axe facing someone from a couple of meters away, it will appear realistic and dangerous enough for them. And that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Once again, if you decide to build it, be very very careful. And not just during building, but also when you swing the axe. Mine is only a 20 cm saw blade and weighs about 1.3 kg. But still feels heavy. And finally, as always, happy crafting and see you soon!